Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I do CNC programming, tutorial videos, especially for home Mac and Wiki CNC machines using Fusion 360. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna upload a DWG file, an AutoCAD file in Fusion 360. I'm gonna create a 3D model from that file and then I'm gonna CNC program, okay? Um, I know some of you guys uh, work with a lot of uh, AutoCAD files, like myself, okay, for CNC programming. All right, so um, let's go to the show data panel. And I have created a folder that says DWG files, okay? And uh, I'm gonna go here where it says upload. Click where it says uh, select files. I'm gonna select this file right here. This is a job that I'm gonna do next week. All right. Um, I don't have, um, I don't think we have the material, uh, which is um, which is half inch MDF. And it's supposed to be uh, about 12 feet long, okay? This um, job, okay? So I'm gonna open it up. And I'm gonna click upload. Let's give it a minute. Okay, um, uh, the file has been uploaded. You see where it says the status complete. So I'm gonna close this box. Okay, now right click, open. There's the DWG file. So I'm just gonna extrude uh, uh, one profile because um, you see the one, uh, three screens, uh, left, a middle, and a right. And you can use just uh, you can you can use you can just use one program. Okay, you can just uh, you can mirror it. Okay. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm 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 just gonna use this um, profile right here. So um, before I extrude this profile, I'm gonna go up here, right click, select capture uh, design history. Okay, now I have a timeline. So any changes that I make to this um, model are gonna be recorded right here in the timeline. So I can always go back to a feature and edit it. All right. Um, and where it says sketches, I'm gonna click on this arrow. It'll drop down and I'm gonna, I need that one, so I'm gonna turn this one off. That one, this one, and that one. So these are all the layers, okay, from AutoCAD. Um, I have this um, sketch right there, so I'm just gonna window select a sketch, and I'm gonna delete it, okay? Now I'm gonna go up here where it says uh, extrude. And I'm gonna extrude this profile. And I'm gonna type, um, see it's set to uh, millimeters, that's fine. I'm gonna type uh, 0.5 IN for inches. Okay, it's half inch MDF. And the operation is gonna go, uh, it's gonna be a um, new component. Click OK. There's my 3D model. So, uh, there's component one, component two. I don't need component one, so I'm gonna turn that off. Okay, I don't know what that is. All right. Um, next, I'm gonna apply some appearance to this model. So I'm gonna hit A on my keyboard. And I'm gonna apply MDF. So where it says search, I'm gonna type MDF. There's the MDF board. I'll drag it, drop it into the model, okay. Now I'm gonna go to manufacturer workspace and I'm gonna create a new setup. Okay, my Z axis is gonna be top face. The Y axis is gonna be this edge 
and my box point and uh it's gonna be right there that's my wcs that's my wcs okay um on the stock uh tab i'm not gonna i'm not gonna add any material and on the post process i'm gonna name the program screen and where it says program comment i'm gonna type um Okay, I'm gonna type three A's, three flute, compression tool. That's the tool I'm gonna use for this job. Okay, I'm gonna click OK. There's my setup. Uh, I can name the setup if I want. So uh, I'm gonna type uh, screen, hit enter. Now I'm gonna um, I'm gonna use um I'm gonna use a 2D contour. Okay. To cut out um these profiles right here, these uh these uh slots, okay. So I'm gonna go up here where it says uh 2D contour. I'm gonna select my tool. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down to where it says um, Wiki CNC wood, and I'm gonna use uh, the Amana 46011 tool. Okay. Select this guy. I'm not gonna change the spindle speed or the fear rate. I already set up in the tool library. Okay. Uh, geometry. Now it wants me to select uh, the contours. So I'm gonna zoom in, select this one, this one, this one, that one, this little one right here, okay. Okay, now I have all the contours selected. I know that's a lot. Um, it's 40 contours, okay. <laughs> all right, um, under uh, height tab, I'm gonna go down to where it says bottom height. And where it says offset, I'm gonna type one millimeter, which means I'm leaving one millimeter of material. I'm not cutting through the material because I don't wanna cut the vacuum pots, okay. So I'm gonna type one. Under passes tab, um, here where it says sideways compensation, um, you can leave that. You can leave it at right if you want, which is conventional milling. Um, in wood, it doesn't really matter. To be honest, um, it's not going to change the the quality of the part. Okay, um, but I always use left. I'm I'm just used to that, so I'll change it to left and. I'm gonna check where it says uh, preserve order. Okay, and under, I'm gonna uncheck a stock to leave. And I'm gonna check multiple depths, okay. And the maximum, uh, maximum roughing step down is set to six millimeters. Finishing step down is six millimeters, okay. I have, um, I have an expression right here, I'll show you. So I'm gonna right click, edit expression. And I have a tool diameter minus three millimeters, okay? And I save that um, as a user default, okay? 
And I did the same thing right here where it says finishing step down, okay? And the last tab is the linking tab. And I'm gonna uncheck uh, lead in and lead out. And I'm gonna check where it says ramp. And the ramp, ramping angle, uh, it says two, uh, two degrees. I'm gonna change that to 15 degrees, okay? I'm gonna click okay. There's my tool path. Now I'm gonna right click and simulate. You see it's leaving uh, one millimeter of material. Oops. And let me put it on top view. And that looks good, all right. So I'm ready to post-process this program, okay. So I'm gonna right click, post-process, okay. I'm gonna click post. I'm gonna go to Wi-Fi Point O and open the program there. Okay, let's go. Let's go to Wi-Fi Point O. Go to file, open, screen, program. Okay, there it is. All right. It was that easy. Okay, guys. Um. So, uh, guys, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And learn how to um, how to upload a file, a DWG file, Fusion 360, and how to create a 3D model from that file and how to program. Okay. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future content. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.